Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We are back in the Razor Workshop, and if you remember my last build, uh, it's this. This beautiful, magnificent, gigantic computer. Um, yeah, this is all part of our pursuit, my pursuit, for the most powerful computer. So, kind of a follow-up build. Um, from the original Super RGB PC. So, if you haven't watched the video where I built this computer, go watch that first. Um, it's it's a good time. I'll actually go ahead and link it down in the description so you can find it easily. If you haven't already seen it, um, yeah, it's 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 definitely the most involved computer I've ever built in the game. So, um, today we're gonna take it and we're gonna crush we're gonna crush some 3D Mark scores. I hope that's the plan at least. Um, and so with that, I should actually. Just get these going again. Um, Super RGB PC there. This is our uh, Gamers from Quad Stellar. So this is a Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX. Um, both these put up nice scores. This one does have a little bit higher 3D Mark score. The uh, 7980XC and this is gonna be a better benchmark CPU. This new computer though has the 9980XC so let's go ahead and put it through a benchmark. Uh, as a reminder, everything is stock, so I haven't touched anything on this yet. We are gonna do some overclocking, and I'll be curious to see how the massive amount of radiator space we have in this computer, um, how that translates into overclocking. So as a reminder, while this is, while this is benchmarking right now, um, like I said, the CPU is a 9980XE. We've got two RTX 2080 Ti's on water. Um, we've got eight sticks of eight gig Trident ZRGB RAM at 4,400 megahertz. So 64 gigs of memory there. Um, we're doing this all on the uh, Gigabyte X299 AORS Gaming 9 motherboard. We've got three, um, what is it? Technically, what's the storage space? 960 gig or something? Yeah, 960 gig. So we have three 960 gig M.2 drives installed. That's all we have for storage. Um, we've got like a 1300 watt power supply, power supply from Corsair. It, this, this case is interesting. It has slots for two power supplies, but it won't let me use two. So, and then a reminder on the cooling side, this computer is using th five, five. I don't remember. Sorry. I jumped like through 10, 10 numbers in my head. This has got five, 360 mil rads. And so 360 mil rads are the biggest ones in the game. So we've got two around back as part of the CPU loop. And then we've got three, there's one down here in the kind of this basement area, one on the front and then one up top. So we have three on the front for our two GPUs. And so we've got two separate loops. Green is our GPU loop, Nvidia, get it? And then blue is our CPU loop, blue, Intel. Got it? Yep, cool, great. The fans on the radiators are stuck red. So, sorry, can't change it, it's a bug. But let's look at our scores. So. RGB PC, 19,830. The Gamers from Quad Seller, 19,224. So a little bit of a difference there, about 600 points. And then our new champion, 20,003. And the only real, I think, performance affecting thing, eh, I mean, I don't know how this game does this exactly, is really the 9980XE. CPU in this and it's a small jump in real life from the 7980XC. It really is to change in the thermal interface between the integrated heat spreader and the actual CPU die. Um, and then I think there's like some other super small changes, but it's like very insignificant in real life. So um, there's our baseline. These are all three computers are stock, but 20,003, that's our starting point. So our goal is to get as far above that as we can and we're going to do that through both overclocking the gpus and the cpu and i'm going to start with the cpu which i have to do through the bios if i remember right so um this will be interesting yeah this will be very interesting okay so let's go ahead and boot into the bios and we're gonna give it a crack. We're gonna take a crack at overclocking. I haven't done much overclocking this game, so this could be rough. We'll see. All right, we've got a RAM overclock already applied. The the basically the um, 
the stock settings on that RAM. Um, so we'll, that, we'll, we'll just leave that for now. I don't know how RAM affects performance in this game. I know how, a little bit more about how it affects it in real life. Um, but yeah. So the CPU stock is running at 4.4 gigahertz. So we could of course like, you know, throw our ratio up a little bit. 4.6. And I wonder how much voltage we want to bring up. Wow, it goes in point, okay, point five in turns. Let's try 4.6 gigahertz at 1.4 volts. We aren't, I don't even know if I'm gonna need the voltage. Let's try it without the voltage. We'll see how we do. All right, so just at stock, at just at, at idle here, um, we're idling the CPU at 52C. So that's fine. That's a good sign. We've got a 4% overclock, basically. All right, let's go ahead and give 3D Mark a go. Oh, that didn't last long. Okay, so I'm gonna throw a little more voltage at it then. We're making a little bit of progress here. Um, I'm at 4. I'm only at 4.5 gigahertz, which is really lame. Um, it's taking a lot more voltage to get this to pass than I thought it would. But the good thing is I've got CPU temps in a reasonable spot. So, all right, um, that's something. So I'm gonna keep playing and see if I can get it up above 4.5 gigahertz on the CPU. All right, that's it. That's all I can get. All I can do is, like, all I can get is 4.5 gigahertz. I can't even add a single, um, a single um, megahertz to the, just like the, the clock. Like, I can't do anything. I can't get the RAM to overclock. Like, this is it. This is the best I can do. I don't know. So I think we're gonna move on to GPU, but let me first do a 3D mark with it, just with the CPU overclock. And so we can see what that's like, and then we'll compare it to where we were. All right, so here's where we're at with our very slight overclock. So to remind you, our overall before stock was 20,003, now we're at 20,055. So we've come up a whopping 52 points overall. Um, our CPU score, well, our GPU score is the same as it was before, 21,459. Our CPU score before was 14,448. Now it is 14,634. So a little less than 200 points improved in the CPU score. So that's where we're at. I don't know. Honestly, I think there are better chips in this game to overclock with that you can actually get a higher time spy score. Um, like apparently Threadover actually overclocks really well. So maybe in a future video, we'll go back to the Gamer Storm Quad Stellar and we'll try to overclock that. I don't know, we'll see, who knows. Um, but now we're going to move on to GPUs and we'll see if we have any better luck with that. So this is interesting. I don't know if I'm overclocking both of them. Usually the idea with overclocking GPUs is you just go max core voltage and then you tune your core clock in your memory. Um, I'm going to start with finding where memory loses stability. This is hard because I really don't even know where to start. Let's throw 200 megahertz on the memory and see if we're fine. Did that actually apply? And does the does OCCT affect my GPU at all? I don't think it does, right? Okay, so I did a little bit of reading about potentially a good way to do this in this game, which is it's kind of interesting. Um, we can keep OCCT open and supposedly we can like see power draw as we, as we increase some of these things. So like if we go back to a hundred, our power draw is going to change. Except I don't see that. 226 watts. Okay. So it looks like 226 watts to me. Do I have to maybe bring the core clock up? Interesting. Oh, okay. 263 watts. So we're well within the constraints of our power supply. This is so weird. I don't know if I'm tuning one GPU or what. 
289.95 watts. I'm just going to keep, apparently you can kind of keep going up until you blue screen, supposedly. And I think too, you can apparently afford, like you can see the temperature of my GPUs is rising. Kind of? Eh, maybe? Weird. I don't know. This is really interesting. But supposedly, oh, you can see him. There we go. 58C. Okay. This is really interesting. 64C. We have so much headroom with the loop. 80C. All right. Well, that's it. That's maxed. Let's just see if we can get through a test, I guess. This will be interesting. Well, it hasn't blue screened yet, which is promising. Wow, we might make it through it. All right, we blue screened, but it took a while. So I'm just gonna back this down a little bit. Okay, so the graphics card makes a huge difference for our times by extreme score here. Um, the last time there was just the overclocked CPU. We had a 20,055 overall. Um, and the graphic score, uh, the stock graphic score was 21,459. So now our graphic score is 28,325 and it brought our overall score up to 24,839. Wow, so that's, that's, that's really awesome. So here's where I had to pull down our GPU settings too. So now theoretically, I can just kind of inch these up a little bit to find exact the exact limit of how far we can do these GPUs. I would love to get past 25,000, but I really don't know if we'll be able to. Our CPU score is holding us back big time. So uh, maybe a future video, we'll, we'll dig into that. So I'm gonna play a little bit more. I'm gonna see how much more I can stretch this score. There's just a little bit left in it. So we'll check it out. Okay, about all I did there was I threw four more megahertz on the core clock up to 24,864. So you can see just little adjustments make a big difference. So I'm gonna come back with the highest score I could figure out and that'll be that for this one, I think. All right, guys, we're back. Do you think we did it? Do you think we crossed 25,000? Let's look. Oh, uh, we did. So uh, I spent a lot of time on this. Ugh, honestly, too much time. Um, so this is where we wound up. Core clock, 353 megahertz. Memory clock, 295 megahertz. So there it is, 25,230, a graphics score of 28,927. So I'm pretty happy with that, above 25,000. So I'm sure there's probably a different setup in this, in this game that you get a way higher score, whatever. That feels good to me, I don't know. So there it is, hopefully that was interesting. Um, definitely the most involved build and uh, really my first crack at overclocking in the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe for more videos of PC building. So I've got a lot of cool stuff coming up and uh, in plans. So be sure to subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.